I've been involved by a few events now um, supporting Dyslexia Scotland and it's, it's amazing. There was one event, for instance, in Glam's at the, the transport extravaganza they held there, and it was incredible. The number of people who came up to the, the stall that we had set up, essentially, and they said either they themselves were dyslexic or they knew people, they had family members or friends who were dyslexic. It really makes you aware of how many uh, dyslexic people are out there. And I think that, from my experience, Dyslexia Scotland kind of outreaching in its way through events like this. It's a way of uh, reaching out to people who may not have been aware of the help that is available uh, for them. So I think it's a very valuable exercise in uh, interfacing with the public uh, and saying to members of the public, saying, look, this isn't something which is, uh, you should um, um, suffer on your own. Uh, 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 on your own, there's, there's many, many people out there who are, um, have the same kind of life experience. My involvement with Dyslexia Scotland started in uh, 2012 actually. Um, I was down at the Silverstone Grand Prix, British Grand Prix, and had a very brief acquaintance with Sir Jackie Stewart. Um, a friend and patron of mine who was also there, he had a, a much longer conversation with Sir Jackie and he mentioned that I'd uh, been involved with quite a few art for charities projects and he wondered if Sir Jackie would be interested in having me paint a picture for, for Dyslexia, to raise funds for Dyslexia Scotland. And um, to my astonishment, my amazement, the project sort of gathered momentum and, um, and before I knew where I was, I was actually collab well, working with Sir Jackie on this project to, to produce essentially a portrait of him in one of, his, uh, one of his racing cars. The process of the painting was very much different from my normal approach. Um, I, I, don't, I don't really, uh, I'm generally a landscape painter, so this is a, a sort of new subject matter area for me. But um, I, s I selected an image, and obviously there are many, many thousands of images of Sir Jackie Stewart during his racing career. But I selected an image of uh, the 1969 Grand Prix in Germany, of uh, one of the famous moments when his car actually left the ground. And uh, I thought, well, this is going to make a good painting. Um, I showed the photograph to Sir Jackie, and he agreed, yes, that he would, he would agree that would make a good painting, and it was a memorable Grand Prix for him as well. Uh, the input of Sir Jackie Stewart was very welcome because he was, able, he was very much able to tell me what it was like in those days racing a car like this and it was very, seemed to be a very raw kind of a motor racing experience compared with uh, motor racing nowadays because of all the technology we have. And uh, so his input was fantastic. He, he actually told me things about the car which maybe weren't so clear in the photograph. The fact that the, the spoilers on the front of the, the car for instance were just plain aluminium. Um, details like that which I couldn't really make out from a rather blurred photograph. But it was a great, great image for me to work from because it had a great sense of speed and dynamism in it. And um, I knew it would make a terrific painting.